These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <clears throat> All right, what's up, everybody? Grim Green back here. Today, I'm starting my review for these two pods from the new Aspire Cyber series. We got the, the Cyber S and the Cyber X. Aspire, whom I haven't had products from in quite a long time, by the way, actually sent along three different products from this new Cyber series. The Cyber G here seems to use a different coil head, whereas these two are compatible. So I think this is gonna be the review. And then I might do this as a review in a, in a separate video, just cause it uses a separate coil. These both use a three mil 0 0.8 ohm and a one ohm TSX pod system that I'm honestly not sure if we can take the coil head out. These are just pods. It's not going to be rocket surgery, so I'm pretty confident we can get these set up right now. There is a Peely thing. CyberX. Listen, I'm a sucker for clear plastic where you can see the internals. I don't know. That kind of honestly just looks cool in my opinion. Here is the TSX pod. It is a side fill guy with a sticker on the bottom. The resistance is thankfully printed right there. 0 0.8. Great. Bleh. Airflow hole right on the front, right above the button. One, two, three, four, five. I actually don't know if that turned it on or not. Is this also a fire button? Ah, yes, it is. Cheers. Mm-hmm. I can adjust the airflow by flipping the pod around. There is a tight side and a loose side. And the loose side, it's feeling like that old Nautilus Mini. Just a really dense, saturated, flavorful mouth to lung. And this Cyber S is clear and blue. Since the Cyber X got the 0 0.8 ohm, the Cyber S is gonna get the one ohm. Same bleh. Ah, would you look at that? The S has a little lighty up button. Hmm. Mm hmm hmm Obviously, these are the same series of coil heads, right? The 0 0.8 and the 1 ohm are vaping very similarly. The 1 ohm has a slightly tighter airflow, but I don't know if that's because I haven't flipped the pod yet. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Very flavorful, very rich, very dense. I always say similar things about pods at the beginning. These do both have like a little bit of a hair trigger at the moment. I legitimately really like the clear factor on this. It actually serves a purpose. Like the back is aluminum on both sides and then the front is clear so that you can see the battery. You can see where your pod makes the connection and all the circuitry on the inside. No questions here. The X here, has an alleged 1000 ma or milliamp hour battery on the inside. The S here has a 700 mAh battery on the inside. Look, this is a pod review, so today is day one. I go for longevity. I'm gonna start using these, put them through their paces. I'll catch up with you guys when I catch up with you guys. Well, let me tell you, it has been a, a really eventful about four weeks, over four weeks with the Cyber S and the Cyber X. I took both of these with me to Europe for two weeks and I ended up using the X just so much more. In fact, look at this. I'm not sure if this is going to show up on video, but it is real scratch. That paint started coming off real quickly. It was in and out of backpacks and in and out of pockets, and I just used the hell out of this. In fact, this flew from LAX to Germany with a full pod and did not leak at all. Not even a little bit. I was shocked. Every other pod was a disaster, but this did not leak at all on the flight for some reason. Used it in Germany, loved it, loved it, loved it. And the reason I started using this one is because you can see this, but it has these two little like divots right here on both sides. And even though this is kind of a clunky, chunky battery that I don't know that I would ever wear on a lanyard, even though that is an option. Those two little divots make this feel really comfortable. I only ever ho held it between these two fingers and the two little divots make it feel thinner than it really is. And it just, it's, it's their home. Your fingers have a little home and it makes it a really enjoyable experience. Now the problem started arising when I took a train to Switzerland and on the train ride to Zurich, Switzerland from Stuttgart, Germany, it leaked. It leaked bad really very badly. I didn't realize, I guess, how high up in elevation we were going around that time. For some reason, you know, the plane's pressurized. Maybe that had something to do with it. But on that train ride, this thing leaked like crazy, so much so that it killed the battery. 
It killed the auto switch in this. It started auto firing, it started misfiring, and since then I haven't been able to use the square battery. And that honestly bums me out like crazy because it was my favorite. I liked it much more than the stick battery. The stick battery is fine, it's just a little bit big and there's no divots or relief points anywhere. It's just a big toboggan of a pod. So when the point three died and that died, I swapped immediately and started using the one ohm in the stick battery and I'm happy to report it didn't leak on the flight home either. There's something about trains that this cyber series just does not like. And here we are at the very end of the month and this pod is finally starting to show its life. This pod got a lot less use on my trip because of other pods that I received on my trip, but I still used it really consistently, especially when I got home because I knew this review was coming up. Some other pods had to sit aside, so I used this one excessively. And now it's really starting to show its age. The quality dropped down dramatically and quickly. It went from great, great, great to like fine to like, whoa, shit. And with that said, it's still not that bad. I mean, it's not good, but it's still not that bad. Now, if I have to hand out banana stickers, this is gonna be a little bit of a mixed bag. There's lots to like here, especially with the X version. There is also the pod leaking on the train and leaking so much that it killed the auto switch and started auto firing my battery. I can only review what I have in front of me the Cyber S and the Cyber X are probably gonna land in like that little bit better than fine six-ish banana sticker territory. In fact, hang on, I, it's been so long since I've had a new Cyber Pod, I wanna see if I have another one ohm and I can just start a brand new one to remind me of how great this once vaped. All right, you're a point eight. that'll do. Okay, cheers. Mm. Mm -hmm undeniably good. I just really wish I hadn't killed this battery. Anyway, I think this is the end of the video. I can't tell you where to get these or how much they cost, but I can tell you this. If you're a person who currently smokes cigarettes, listen, they damage every organ in your body. Now's the time to quit. Better living through science, better living through technology. There is a world of safe nicotine products out on the market for you. In the description of this video, I'm gonna put links to just science and just education. This has been a Grim Green video. Let's stay smoke free literally every single day. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and I'm uh, just gonna smoke, so 